Hello, I'm Gary Taylor, and I'm going to talk a little bit about my history with prostate cancer um, and uh, Velasta and astaxanthin. My grandfather actually died from prostate cancer back when he was 36 years of age, back in the 1920s. My father um, had prostate cancer uh, in his late 60s, uh, early 70s, and eventually died of something else. But uh, I've always, because of that, wanted to continue to follow up myself, make sure that I was always uh, looking at what the possibilities were, that I wasn't uh, succumbed to the, own, the same thing myself, uh, the prostate cancer. So um, I asked my doctor if I could uh, continue to check on it. My, pro my PHA came out fine, but um, he sent me to the urologist so I could have it checked. He thought the prostate was a little bit enlarged, maybe. He said, let's take a biopsy. So we did that. And on uh, January 15th, uh, 2018, about a year and a half ago, um, he, he took a biopsy and he did uh, 12 samples. And of the 12 samples, he found it in two or three samples and it, uh, prostate cancer. And it was rated at a Gleason 7. I went to the oncologist and uh, we talked about it a little bit. He said, why don't you check it out before we do anything? Let's check it out again and um, have a, the same tissue re-examined because it's a 7, but it could be a 6. Uh, for some reason, he was a little uncertain, so we had to retest it, and it came out as a Gleason 6. Um, that meant we were going to, instead of being aggressive at uh, 7 and treating it right away, we were going to take a wait-and-see attitude and uh, check it out and continue to follow it. About uh, 10 months later, on October 3rd, 2018, we did follow it up with uh, 24 samples, which were taken in a hospital. Uh, I was put out for that particular procedure, and they again tested those, and it came out with a Gleason 6 again. Um, later the next year, uh, actually in the middle, uh, in May, my sister came down with uh, pancreatic cancer. And uh, a cousin of mine wrote me and said, hey, you really ought to truck out this astaxanthin. And she gave me Sam Shepard's name and Velasta and so forth. So I immediately uh, looked at it a little bit and went online and with uh, Amazon and bought a bottle of astaxanthin and started taking these little tablets and so forth. But I continued to follow up and research it. And uh, I thought uh, the thing, the product that uh, Sam Shepard was making with Elasto was actually the best that I could find. And I did a lot of research because I wanted to really help my sister. Uh, she was not doing well. And so I have um, I'm a, I'm a doctorate, so I know how to research. I'm not a doctor of medicine, but a doctorate nevertheless. And so I went through and I, I got all my articles and printed them out and researched them, highlighted them and did all this study. And then I, I had all these ones that came from medical journals and other places. and. I, got, I uh, looked them all and highlighted everything as to what they were about and, and took them out and, you know, each one had its own specific place. And then I went over and I talked to her doctor. And, of course, her doctor couldn't really recommend it. And he explained, you know, um, we can't recommend things that haven't been through clinical trials and so forth. And since this is a natural substance and it can't be reformulated in something that makes a lot of money for the medicine or the pharmaceutical companies, he said, uh, there's nothing to, that I can go on to say that I'm going to recommend it, but I'll work with whatever you want. My sister decided she was only going to do what the uh, doctor said and wasn't going to recommend it and wasn't going to do, try any of this, anything else at all. And so um, about a few months later, we visited her in August. Um, she wound up um, being sent home. The doctor says, nothing else I can do for you. You can't take chemotherapy anymore. It's not working. And finally, uh, she said, okay, I'll try the astaxanthin, but... She died in a couple of weeks, so really had no chance of doing anything, unfortunately. We were saddened by our loss, but I continued to take the astaxanthin uh, and, and follow through myself because I wanted to see how it worked on the prostate cancer and if it would help me, even though she was unwilling to do that. So each day I would uh, take one with my medicine. I'd take the little pill capsules they give you, and I'd fill it with four and a half squirts, which came out to about 50 milligrams. And then sometime during the day or in the morning, I'd also take my uh, dark chocolate, which uh, it comes in, and that's 24. So between this one and the uh, little pill uh, there, um, the liquid actizantin, I got about 75 a day. And the um, the chocolate came. I bought it in the bars, and I you can get three bars in a in a in a whole uh, packet here. So I ordered them and keep them in the freezer. And then each morning I would take the astaxanthin along with my other pills and vitamins, and I'd I'd go ahead and take them with a. Uh, bottle of my uh, a glass of my orange juice, uh, excuse me, carrot juice. And I like carrot juice because uh, my, I had an uncle Vince many years ago who uh, had, had some sort of cancer, don't know what it was, this was 40 or, years ago or so. His wife just poured carrot juice out of him. Uh, and uh, he came back six months later and they said it was incurable and six months later he had none. 
So the astaxanthin is supposed to be about 5,000 times, I think, more effective than the, uh, the carrot juice. And with all the research and so forth, I went through all of the processes and uh, decided to try that. Uh, on um, actually July 14th of this year, I had a, another biopsy done in the doctor's office, 12 more spots, and they looked at the, and try to concentrate where the, acid, the uh, prostate cancer was before. And he came back and said, no cancer. Can't find it any place. Uh, as far as he was concerned, <laughs> it's gone. He said, come back and visit me in a year. Now, I'm a, I do believe in Jesus Christ as my savior and, and uh, God, and I pray to him, but you know, uh, I am thoroughly convinced that he expects us to do something and the astaxanthin, the Velasta, I really think made a difference. Uh, and uh, changed uh, that diagnosis around to being free from it today. So praise God. Thank you and have a great day.